You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna start off with a little intro music, man. You know what I'm talking about? Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black one man. The black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black one man. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about the black man and the black woman. Devo 71 on the track, man. I'm just vibing out to it, you know what I'm saying? But black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. A black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. If you know about that black love, man, say something, man. If you're if, if, if you a soldier or a soldierette of that black love, I'm talking about that black man and that black one, man. You know what I'm talking about? And you know it's a beautiful thing, man. You, hey, hey, man, you lift your head up, man, and be a representative of black love to show them that it's still real. It's going to always be real because we got real people out here, man, fighting the fight, man. To show what black love is, man. And to prove what black love ain't. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm just I'm just thankful, man, and so grateful that I'm in the fight for the long haul. You know what I'm talking about? Like I say, if you on here, man, show me some love, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's Real Talk Thursday, man. We're going to talk about that cultivation theory tonight, man. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. I'm talking about the black man and the black woman. In the black woman, a black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. I'm talking about the black man and the black woman. God Almighty. A black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. I'm talking about that black man and that black woman. I hope this lock in your head, man. I hope everybody listen to this right now. I'm going to put a spell on you tomorrow while you're at work or whatever you're doing, what you do. I want this to be stuck in your head, man. I want you to sing and I always hear these words, man. They go, black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. A black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. I cultivate her mind. One conversation at a time. God Almighty. I cultivate her mind, one conversation at a time. Not every time she talks, she compelled to mention she mine. Put it all on the line as I realign her spine. Now she got the posture of a queen. It's the most beautiful thing I ever seen. Good God Almighty, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? That's how I'm coming off on it. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Yeah, yeah. That's how I'm coming off on it. You know what I'm talking about? I cultivate her mind one conversation at a time. Now every time she talks, she compelled to mention she mine. Put it all on the line as I realign her spine. Now she got the posture of a queen. It's the beautiful thing I ever seen. Told her, baby, be yourself. That's enough for me. Pretty smile, dreadlocks, and she make up free. Oh, that's enough for me. She get the best of me because I did to her. She lured me in with that smile and that chocolate skin. God Almighty, man. I live the life of a king and I live it through her. Yeah, man. Black love, black love. It's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Yeah, man. We're going to get into this thing. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, man. Cultivation theory. What is cultivation theory? Alexa, what is the meaning of cultivation theory? According to Wikipedia, 
Cultivation theory is a sociological and communications framework to examine the lasting effects of media, primarily television. It suggests that people who are regularly exposed to media for long periods of time are more likely to perceive the world's social realities as they are presented by the media they consume, which in turn affects their attitudes and behaviors. So those that didn't hear or didn't grasp what she's saying, we're going to run it back. Alexa. What is the meaning of cultivation theory? According to Wikipedia, cultivation theory is a sociological and communications framework to examine the lasting effects of media, primarily television. It suggests that people who are regularly exposed to media for long periods of time are more likely to perceive the world's social realities as they are presented by the media they consume, which in turn affects their attitudes and behaviors. It's a theory that says that people that spend a lot of time watching television get cultivated into a reality to don't know the difference between the program and the making of the program, the production of the program. They don't know the difference between all of that and real life. So they start to think that TV epitome of real life and they lose a sense of reality so television is it tells you what to vision it's a program that's downloaded in you and once this is downloaded in you your vision and your reason and your logic becomes that of what you see on television. So your mind has been cultivated, programmed to believe. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, man? To goddamn believe, right? So when you look at 2022, <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't nobody really watch TV like that a lot. Now everybody spend most of their time in their phone, on social media, on YouTube. On all of these media outlets that enter your mind, contain it for a long ass period of time. And it's cultivating so many people, not just children, adults, parents, grandparents. It's cultivating everybody to believe, man, that what they see in these phones and what they see on TV. It's more real life than real life. This is what the cultivation theory means. So through media and social media, we're being cultivated to think this world, this TV world, this media world, we begin to think that it's more in real life than what we are actually in real life. And we don't understand that everything we see through media is a program that's built and produced <laughs> all about God, they're trying to make you to believe what's being presented. So when people don't know the difference between a program and real life, now you got the cause and effects of reality. And I think in reality, we all can agree in some fucked up times, right? In some fucked up times. Just two weeks ago, uh, the lady committed suicide on uh, the, the Miss America lady. And at first they said she died and they was talking about it in remembrance. And then they kept on running her same story. Then they start tagging suicide in depression to it and i told myself i say i ain't never saw them keep pushing a story rooted in depression and suicide like this most time when people die of suicide they don't never make that known they just kind of like oh fuck that we ain't gonna talk about that no more but this time they was pushing the narrative depression suicide and that narrative in the media on social media 
everybody start making depression is real posts. And everybody started to have these real life moments of uh, 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 re idea meets reality. Well, man, everybody suffering from anxiety, everybody depressed, everybody. And it's like, hold on now, because in media, in social media, you don't see nothing down. You don't see no, no real life shit in social media. Everybody shines in their greater ideals and imaginations of themselves on social media. You can shine so much in the greater imaginations of yourself on social media that I can put this camera on and don't like what I see in reality. And before I go live and present myself, I can put all different type of makeups and tricks on my face and my eyes and my tone and my goddamn size. I can create a whole nother me to present and still goddamn feel like, yeah. So this was the one time, man, people started being truthful to say, yeah, depression is real. And we fucked up in real life. Hold on. Let me get my screen. We fucked up in real life. Man, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Give, give, give me one second. My screen jumped off. Yeah. So, what's up, Kamara? What's up, Kamara? So, we got to see, for the first time, a lot of people on social media, yeah, man, depression is real. Uh, anxiety is real. And then we started to realize how much people in our family and this shit really fucked up. And now we started to say, yeah, man, they be on social media acting like they all this and that. But in real life, everybody fucked up. And we know this. But we'll look at social media and TV and act like we don't know how reality works. See, we got a generation of mothers and grandmothers that watch reality TV. And because they heard the word reality, their mind has been so cultivated that they got them thought it was real. So they watch groups of women who are entertaining on a trauma narrative on a broken relationship narrative, on a fucked up position of goddamn parenting narrative. All these women goddamn bullshitting, going on trips, and they thinking this is freedom, this is liberation. Oh, I want to go on a girl's trip like the motherfuckers on Real Life Housewives of Atlanta and not realizing that ain't no goddamn real shit. I know for a fact in real life, my woman ain't want to go no goddamn Aruba and nowhere and relax and see some, some of the powerful shit she ain't never saw with me laying right beside her, making her feel like a woman while she experienced that shit. That's how real life work. And if you got a man or if you got a woman and you take that type of logic and trying to apply it to real life, do you see why our families and our marriages and our children are in the condition we in? We some TV ass motherfuckers. That shit ain't real. It's cultivation theory, man. You know what I mean? Cultivated to not know the difference. You've been cultivated to not know the difference between reality and what's real. What do you understand what I'm saying? Our ideals of success all come from this goddamn social media and TV. We don't understand nothing about process no more in real life. The due process of real life. You got the due process of real life black men and women fighting a good fight, maintaining through some crazy ass times. 
I'm talking about maintaining, man. Surviving. Fighting a good fight. And to get on that goddamn social media and see a motherfucker who ain't got no responsibility and don't understand nothing about sacrifice and to take all they got when it posed to go to some real shit and they'll post, they say, I'm going to goddamn Las Vegas. Ooh, we, I'm living the fucking life. And you got real people that's fighting the fight will get depressed about that shit because they think they ain't living the life to go do some shit when it ain't time really for none of that shit in real fucking life. You see what I'm saying, man? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see it? Why are you depressed? Because you ain't got what you saw somebody else got. And when you look in the mirror, you think you ain't worthy and you think you struggling and you think you goddamn doing bad. All based off some shit that you saw on social media and TV. And that shit ain't never been real to nobody in real life if you know real people in real life. If you know real people in real life. You know how to eat the meat and spit out the bones. But some people so fucked up in real life, it's easier to be cultivated by the theory of entertainment and media to get in there and live that shit too. Man, fuck that. You see what I'm saying, man? Cultivation theory. Alexa, what is the meaning of cultivation theory? According to Wikipedia, cultivation theory is a sociological and communications framework to examine the lasting effects of media, primarily television. It suggests that people who are regularly exposed to media for long periods of time are more likely to perceive the world's social realities as they are presented by the media they consume, which in turn affects their attitudes and behaviors. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? The cause and effects of this man. I saw a post. I'm going I'm, I'm to show you some social media shit. You know, it's like I saw a post that a lady say, most people who think they daddy had was good men was on, they daddy was only around because they mama gave their daddy some pussy. If they daddy, if their mama didn't give their daddy no ass, they would have probably not even been in the children's life. And she had a whole lot of amens and a whole lot of hell yells. And, 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 and I say, see, this that social media shit, right? And people would get on there and debate this. And there's some truth to that. There's some truth to it. There's some truth to it. See, what we don't understand is this, man. See, the reason why those type of things come to be and the truth in it is, see, you got a lot of people, man, that didn't never know each other, ain't never got to know each other, ain't never had intentions of getting to know each other. And all they did was got together under a circumstance, a situation, or a condition, and fuck. Somehow they made a baby. And they said, well, God damn, we made a baby. They said, well, I don't know you. You don't know me. Well, best we can do is try to raise this baby. And in the process of getting to know each other, they realized, God damn. I hate this motherfucker. I don't know this motherfucker. I don't like this motherfucker. And so they started to realize, hey, fuck him. Fuck her. And in order to say, or take the accountability that, well, what that say about you, man, that, that you laid down with somebody, and it's him or her, that you didn't know, unprotected, and made a baby. What that say about yourself? Right? But don't nobody want to do that. Don't nobody want to do that. So we come up with these narratives of truth that's rooted in out of order. Anytime something is out of order, 
If you go somewhere and you see on a machine, it says out of order. See, if it's out of order, it got a malfunction. It ain't working right like it's designed. So when you make babies out of order, somewhere you get malfunctions. Even if it ain't in the baby, it's in the relationship. It's in the function of the baby because the relationship between two parents is, 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 is critical to the development and cultivation of a baby. And if that relationship ain't tight, if that connection ain't tight, it's like, goddamn, that cultivation don't go right in the development of the child. So they say, what's wrong with the goddamn baby? His cable's fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? Go loosen one of your battery cables on your car. See how that motherfucker works. going to be fucked up. So what's wrong with it? A battery cable loose. It ain't working right. What's wrong with the little boy? What's wrong with the little girl? Battery cable loose. It ain't working right. What's wrong with it? Got the wrong type of battery in the motherfucker. Don't even go in the car. Who put that in there? This is how some people get together and fuck. But when you understand order, when you understand order, man, say black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about the black man and the black woman. See this right here? See that right there? I'm talking about the black man and the black woman. See, when he find this woman, when he find a fertile piece of land that look good to him, see, he cultivate and till that land. You see what I'm saying? To understand. Is this land right for me? And when he understands it's right for him, see, he got to fertilize, he got to till it. See, to till it means you got to condition and cultivate her spirit and her mind to allow you in to enter. You see what I'm saying? That's the submission of a woman to allow him to enter. And see, when he enter under the right order, He drop his seed. And he cultivate the tree and the fermentation of the seed and how it grows into fruit. He cultivated. So that's the difference between, I used to tell people, I say, man, I say, man, God damn, you got to stand in the mirror and determine if you was made out of love or was you was a fuck. See, back when we was young, we said, man, he old fuck nigga. I said, what's a fuck nigga? Nigga who was just made out of a fuck. Nigga ain't never known how to give a fuck. Because he ain't made from nothing but a fuck. So a nigga don't stand for nothing. He don't stand for nothing. I said, fuck nigga, man. See what I'm talking about, man? But if you made from love, or if you make love, you understand the order. You understand how real life works. You understand the due process. You understand what it means to be a man, to build his foundation. You understand what it means to come from nothing, to work for something. You understand what it means to grab something and understand, man, what you endure and what you sacrifice to be able to grab it and hold it. So it's something divine and innately in you that also understands the importance of what it takes to keep it and maintain it and never let it go. But if you're a social media TV ass motherfucker who been cultivated by the theory that you don't understand and know the difference between real life and TV can't hold on to nothing. <laughs> Everything keeps slipping away. We call them wannabe ass motherfuckers. He wanna be everything he see. He wanna be every goddamn thing he see. Because he don't know who he is. He look on social media and get identity ideas. Woo! He look on social media and get identity ideas. He rolls through his phone and say, there go a man that I admire. I want to look and be like that and sound like that. And now every time he talk, I hear his influences. 
And sometimes these type people will, hey, look, even in real life, sometimes these type people will come up on me, man, and have the audacity to want to challenge the God. You see what I'm saying? And I look him in his eyes and let him know, go get your master. Go get your goddamn master. Go get your goddamn master. See, I'm a master of mine. See that right there? I'm the master. It's the shield. So anything about hood soul, hero training, heroism, I'm the master of it. Goddamn, I'm wrong. Wrong, right? So I want to talk about this right here too, man. Cultivation theory. This all in the lines, man. In social media, everybody kept talking about got during dude Crip Mac. And the only reason I know this because, like I say, I love Charles the White. You know, I see what they talking about. But the dude, they had the video of the dude get jumped. Say he got DP. I'm like, what the fuck is DP? So I had to go Google that. It's about being disciplined by some gang shit. And you know, Charleston White, he 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 uh he beat up that gang shit to show the psychological immaturity of it, to show the psychological emptiness of it, and to show that. To be in that foundation of that, man, you got to be a broken soul to even be in position to be pimped by that type of shit. We all are children that has gotten old. Man, to be able to go up to a child and say, hey, little man, come here and let me beat your motherfucking ass and show you I love you. And after I beat your motherfucking ass, I'm going to give you a shirt and you can wear the goddamn color I wear and, and, and you're going to be somebody. But first, we got to beat your motherfucking ass. And no matter how old you get, don't you ever know you ain't above an ass beating. You know how much of a broken child and a man you have to be to one, uh, put that on a child, to a broken child to accept that. You know how broken you got to be for that to even enter your damn reality. Hey, I love you. I want to be your brother. Let me beat your ass and fuck you up to show you that, man, uh, we're going to love you for life. And now this is how cultivation theory works. But see, 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 in, yeah, see, in cultivation theory, see, the media shows gangs as the monsters of goddamn reality. Oh, I'm a gang member. Bang, bang, I shoot him up, motherfucker. See, the media cultivates the mind to see that. So every time we see gang members, we see destruction. But the foundation ain't destruction. The foundation is, the stock of it is, we need weak, broke individuals that need to feel wholeness through affiliation and through being affiliated with something powerful because they feel so powerless that we will show them that they can be vulnerable and we can give them a true sense of identity. So a young boy who been failed by his parents and fucked up somewhere in life say, beat my ass so I can be a brother. Beat my ass so I can be a brother. And we look at that and say, that's a damn shame. But we don't look at it. But we don't look at, we don't look at it. How, how, how young black men that go to them colleges. Because the cultivation theory of media that trains your mind to see reality only through the lenses of television says, hey, if he going to college and he going to be a Q-Dog or AKA, that ain't the same as no game, but the foundation is the same. You're just in a whole nother lane and a whole nother kind of broken. But I need a broken man who need a sense of identity to come here to this school and want to be a part of somebody and feel like somebody. But even them tell each other and tell them young men, I got to beat your motherfucking ass to show you I love you. I got to beat your ass to show you I love you. And there's so many brothers that wear with pride. Uh -huh. And I know 
And I know. And even when I talk to them, and I root with mine, God damn it. They said, well, what you is? I said, I'm hood soul. I'm a hero. And I said, what you is? And they say, AKA, I said, God damn it, go get your master. And they said, my, beat your motherfucking ass to be a brother. So through media and shit, we get it twisted, man. We get it fucked up. We don't know reality. We throw it off reality. We got people wanting to be rich, wanting to be business owners, all because of what they see on media, all because they see on TV. Man, I'm going to be a rich man. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be this. But ain't got no real foundation of discipline, goddamn responsibility in real fucking life. See, as a man, you got real life. You got foundation. You got family. You got your wife. You got your children. Their security, their provision, their protection, their, their all of that shit. They don't give a damn really how you get it, man. Just have it. They depending on it. They need it. They can't survive without it. So being something in real life is a due process. It's a due process that you got to understand on every level, man. On every level. On every level. And the highest level of understanding is the mind. Like I say, cultivation theory. If you cultivated by media and TV, your mind gone, brother. Get your mind right. When I say your mind right, see, that's the highest level. So I can talk, see, when your mind, see, that's where everything lives. That's where your God lives. And even according to how you real with that determines how you truly understand reality. See, I can get on the social media and I can talk shit about God and I can say, well, religion ain't this and religion ain't that. And some people want to get on here and debate ideals and this and that and this and that. But everything I say about me and my experiences, see, I can cut this goddamn computer off and show you in real life. This is what I stand on. This is what I stand on. So on social media, see, we can be a trumpet for things of ideals. But then in real life, they talk about suicide and all this depression shit. And you say, man, hey, man, man, hey, hey, hold on, God damn it. In real life, you ain't going to tell me you got faith and you believe and all this in one breath. And now you want to talk about goddamn depression. And I know it's real. And if you ain't dealing with it, fight your fight. But if you is dealing with it, goddamn, you're dealing because you're battling in two worlds. You're battling two worlds. I guarantee you you're battling two worlds. And we can talk about it privately. But if you're dealing with some shit in your mind, I guarantee it's what you keep watching on this goddamn phone, on this goddamn TV. It's what you keep thinking is real and it ain't. And you keep looking in that mirror and you keep depressing your own self down, your own spirit down, telling yourself you ain't enough. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't. And you say it so much, you goddamn believe it. Get your goddamn mind right. This hero training. Get your goddamn mind right. And if I'm too raw, I mean to be. I mean to be. Just like man for 15 years, I've been on this thing, man, talking this shit, posting this shit. Yeah, my ego want to be recognized and realized. Because I do this shit just because I was born to do this shit. I do this shit every day of my life. Damn Facebook. Damn this. Every day of my life, I wake up and live this shit and be this shit. The representative of everything I am in the flesh. And I ain't saying what I am or what I ain't. I'm just telling you I be me like a motherfucker in real life. Right? 
But I look at this thing and I say, man, I know I'm the rawest. I know I'm the rawest, baby. I go everywhere when I went when, when that Bruce Leroy glow come on. I know I'm the rawest. They say sound is breath and vibration. When I blow, when my lungs, my spirit system, my respiratory system conjures up the air of breath within me and comes out through my vocal cords and through that vibration and wind, it creates my sound. And I know in real life, man, everybody got one, but mine a vibrating motherfucker. It's a vibrating motherfucker. So I watch, and sometimes I say, and I use Charleston White as an example. I use my brother Javon as an example. Those are my kind of brother. We the same kind of people. I love them because they my kind. I can relate to them. I can empathize with them. I love to see my kind shine. But I hear other people say prolific shit. And I know in real life, in real life, Man, if you know me, I mean, nothing you're going to hear on this here cultivated program going to be new to you. It ain't going to be new to you because my kind of people that I associate with and love in real life, man, you, you can't capture this in social media. It's real. And that's what we got to unite back to ourselves and each other. We got to be real in real life. Hey, bro, you ain't fucked up. Hey, sis, you ain't fucked up. Stop thinking you're fucked up. People always say, man, I, don't, I ain't telling my business or, man, you talk too much. Why, why, why everybody got to talk too much and everybody got their own business? That's why you're depressed. That's why you got them thinking about suicide. Because you're holding that shit in and you're ashamed to be a real live person in real life to other people's. So you thinking, oh man, I'm going through something because on social media, ain't nobody struggling. Everybody doing good on social media. She ain't got no man in her life. I ain't never saw no goddamn daddy in her baby life. But oh, she's the strongest woman in the world. She can raise a baby without no man. Oh, I want to be like her. Oh, she's strong. Man, that bitch going through some shit in real life. Just like you. Both of you need a man, goddamn. Both of you out of balance. And you ain't got nobody to talk to about it. Because you don't want nobody in your business. And you think you above the bullshit. So now you sitting at home. Fucked up, looking in the mirror, crying, being mean to your children. Because you don't know the difference between social media and reality. Brother, you ain't no goddamn different. You going to work, fighting the fight, doing all you can do. You watching Three motherfuckers on your timeline that ain't shit, ain't never had shit, got a nice car, and can smoke good weed and buy goddamn Jordans, and you letting him make you feel like goddamn because you working and paying these bills, and somehow you don't never have enough to splurge and goddamn do some dumb shit. You make him feel like, man, I got to do more. Man, I ain't. Man, you better keep fighting your fight, man. And surviving and maintaining in this world where motherfuckers really tanking out. And stop letting this bullshit fuck with your mind. Huh? Motherfucker, egotistic nigga, 50 years old, having experience where his dick don't work. He damn near want to commit suicide. Damn near going OD on any goddamn thing to, to hide the fact. Because he ain't real enough or got no real counsel of real men to understand, man. These are the progressions of life, young man. You getting old. And there's certain things you got to change and there's certain things you got to do.
do. And there's certain things you got to adjust. If you still going to fight the fight, this is life. And this is how life works. I learned this one, A.C. Kenny on here. I learned this one time to an air condition. A.C. Kenny came and fixed my air condition, and I was it, it, it was at another house. And I said, A.C., it won't keep the house cold. What's wrong with it? And he said, ain't nothing wrong with it. I said, well, why it won't work? He said, it just ain't what it used to be. He said, it's working all it can. You just got to get some new shit, man. You got to get some new technology to fight these new rays and this new ass sun. Sun don't shine like it shine. Goddamn, when they built this new unit in 74. Sun done got stronger. You got to get a stronger unit, but ain't nothing wrong with this. So if men don't understand how reality work and how life work to talk to each other in real life, man, you be out here depressed. Fucked up, mind thrown off, finna destroy your whole foundation. Wife, children, finna destroy everything over nothing. Over cause you don't understand how real life work. You've been so cultivated. You've been so cultivated. You've been so cultivated. That you think men don't get old because you see all these old men on TV that never got old. And you fucked up in real life. This black history. This is the this is the history of black people. Television, social media. It's cultivating us, man, to not know the difference between reality and fucking pro program. You feel what I'm saying? Just like with the God concept. I don't hide away from it. I don't shy away from it in real life. Or even on Facebook, sometimes I got I got family members that's preachers that talk about God, that, that says they're army of the Lord. And I say, well, I know maybe they don't want to be confrontational, but I feel like I know the things I say on here. I say it in a way just to make you chew. I don't say it in a way to be right or wrong. I say it in a way that I know I'm casting spells on this motherfucker. But I know if it hits your ear and it hits your spirit, see through the vibration of my wind, my spirit. See, my spirit is my breath. My respiratory system pumps out my breath through my vibration and it goes into you like a spell to make you chew on the things that I say. Not to be right or wrong, but for you to swallow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? One by one, the seeds of understanding. The seeds of understanding. See, that's what I do in real life. That's what I do. I'm a spiritual farm. So it's a spiritual, my breath, my voice. I use it to plant seeds of real spiritual understanding. You see what I'm saying? So one time a lady said, well, what you believe in? I said, I believe in it. I told you this. She said, well, what was that? I say, you know, Everything it takes, <laughs> say I love you. Everything it takes to say I love you. Well, what's that? I say I don't know, but I know it's more than one thing. I know it's more than one thing. What is it? Everything it takes for me to say I love you. And I know that's more than one thing. Like an example. Water. Water. And if you think I'm lying, if you think I'm wrong, don't drink it. Tell me how it works. See what I'm saying? That's just one. But, now in the same way of cultivation theory, see, they give us real things to cultivate. Our same mind through entertainment. But we don't like the real truth. See, black people only are wired to see trauma. 
to see drama, to see pain, to see anger. See, those are the things to see destruction. Those are the things, man, that we are cultivated to understand through through goddamn uh 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 that make us get fucked up. Just like you don't ever hear Jesus' name until uh, something fucked up happened to somebody. And then we thank, oh, oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you didn't let us get fucked up too bad. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that you spared his, uh, his life to 29. But as long as he's doing good, we ain't got nothing to say about none of that. We don't say, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, my boy might be a little weirdo, but goddamn, he ain't. He ain't no drug dealer. He ain't crazy as hell. We don't say those type of things. You see what I'm saying, man? We don't, we don't talk like that. You know what I mean? We just we just call on it when it's associated with trauma and drama and all those type of things that we are cultivated to see. See how this works, right? See how they work. See, on the flip side. We love, we love, it's positive thing that's out there. Just like I'm telling you how that, well, everything that, 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 that it takes, everything that it takes for me to say I love you. Water, uh, oxygen, hell, goddamn, all the necessities you know that it takes to live. Now, in the very same way, that's how they make cartoons and movies like X-Men and all these people. They personify a, a, a woman who got the power of water. Then they personify a man who got the power of thought. Then they personify a man who got the power of earth. Then they personify a man who got the power of the sun. And then they call them the mighty force of the galaxies. But we don't let that cultivate our mind to truly understand our position and how we work in it every day. They'll show you that in the same context that they show you destruction and program you to see that. See how that works, man. So this cultivation theory is a real powerful thing. Black History Month. All our children see slave stories, Jim Crow stories, all these through media and phone. They go to school, they see it through the media. They show it, it reminds them. It, re it reminds them of that cultivation theory of this is your position in American history. It reminds the white kids, this is your position in American history. And once you know your position, you see what I'm saying? So that's why through the same old media cycle program, 65 years later, Malcolm X dead, Martin Luther King dead, 65 years later, during Black History Month, we can play Malcolm X speeches, we can play Martin Luther King speeches, and they sound like they were made yesterday, still in the very same context and condition of us and our mentality today. How can they do that 65, damn near 40 years ago, and it still be the same? <laughs> Cultivation theory. That's how. It's more than a theory. It's a science. And it's a reality. And it's, and it's working more than ever, man. It's working more than ever. We, we don't know the difference between real and fake. And when we look in the mirror, we don't know the difference between what's in the mirror and what out the mirror. My man Sean Lee on here, he gave me this analogy one time. He said, God damn, we live in a time where people look in the mirror and see a dirty face and they start wiping the mirror. See how that work, man. They start wiping the goddamn mirror. And, and, and when you translate that, to social media and these phones. People cut on their goddamn camera, on their phone, and see a dirty face. And they start putting goddamn filters and emojis around that motherfucker. And goddamn stars and motherfucking bells and whistles and cat eyes and fish lips and all type of shit on their face just so their face won't be seen dirty while people looking at their pictures and they ain't gonna never have no intentions of real life 
or getting their motherfucking ass up and going in there and washing their face and washing their ass and brushing their teeth and looking in that mirror and telling themselves, I love you in the best position of goddamn care that they can see themselves in in the start of a motherfucking day. That's the reality of what cultivation theory is. And before I go, I'm going to say it one more time. Alexa, what is the meaning of cultivation theory? According to Wikipedia, cultivation theory is a sociological and communications framework to examine the lasting effects of media, primarily television. It suggests that people who are regularly exposed to media for long periods of time are more likely to perceive the world's social realities as they are presented by the media they consume, which in turn affects their attitudes and behaviors. God Almighty. And I'm going to take us out on a jam. I'm going to take us out on a jam, you know what I mean? I'm going to take us out on a jam. You know what I mean? Check me out. Hold on, I'm gonna take it out on the dam, y'all. Black man, black man. Black love, black love. It's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Black love, black love. It's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. You know what I'm talking about, man? I cultivate her mind one conversation at a time. Not every time she talks, she compelled to say that she mine. I put it on the line. I realign her spine. And she got the posture of a queen. It's the beautiful thing I've ever seen. Told her be yourself, that's enough for me. Pretty smile, dreadlocks, and she make up free. Oh, that's enough for me. She get the best of me because I give it to her. I got the life of a king and I live it through her. 23 years, two kids in. It feels good to know the black love win. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. Black love, black love, it's a beautiful thing. Talking about that black man and that black woman. You know what I'm talking about, man? That's that real shit right there, man. Cultivate her mind one conversation at a time. Now every time she talks, she compelled to mention she mind. Put it all on the line as I realign her spine. Now she got the posture of a queen. It's the beautiful thing you ever seen. Told her be yourself, baby. That's enough for me. Pretty smile, dreadlocks, and she make up free. Oh, that's enough for me. She get the best of me because I give it to her. I got the life of a king, and I live it through her. 23 years and two kids in. Man, it feel good to say the black love win. God, <laughs> nobody, I spent that shit for all this in a motherfucker, baby. I love it, baby. Y'all be good, man. Cultivation theory, man. I just talk my shit, man. You know what I mean? Each one teach one, man. If I reach one, man, I want you to know, man, you enough. You are enough. Each one teach one. If I reach one, you are enough. And I know you enough because the shit I blow and the shit I talk, if you feel it, then you feel me. And I know you real in real life and you fighting that good fight. And I don't care what the fight is and I don't know what the fight I ain't got to know what it is. All I know, man, I believe in you and you fight your fight, black man. You fight your fight, black woman. I love you. One more time. I'm going to let this ride. Come on, y'all. I got my boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, it's that hero training shit. Fire oh, money. This shit ain't make believe, man. This real life. It's real life. I told you, man. Damn, damn this social media shit, man. I, hey, look. I, hey, look. I say this. I'm going to say this for my ego. I ain't the biggest man on Facebook. 
I ain't the biggest man nowhere. I'm just a nobody on Facebook. I'm just a nobody anywhere. Like I say, I'm just I'm just doing my part. If I reach one, that's enough. But in real life, man, let me tell you something. In real life, man, I'm gonna stand up when I say this, man. I I hey, look, ain't too many motherfuckers on planet Earth in real life. When them goddamn weird come through these motherfuckers here, boy. They say, who is a pimp in a room full of pimps? My class, motherfucker. In real life. I give it to the Facebook and the internet. But in real life, man, this hero shit is some of the realest shit ever goddamn created, man. And I love everybody that love me, man. And I believe in you. If you believe in yourself, goddamn, because if you believe in yourself, man, I already know what we can do together. Like I say, uh, I ain't no more than you, and you ain't no more than me. But it's a power invested in both of us that will show it more than we can be. Just God Almighty. Y'all hold me down, man. Me and the destiny, man. Sisters of destiny. God damn it, I love you, man.